Welcome. What I want to do is show you how to factor uh, this trinomial. Now, when we're factoring trinomials, one thing we always want to do is see if we can factor out a GCF. Uh, but I noticed there's not a factor I can factor out of each one of those three uh, monomials terms that, um, that I could use to factor them out. So what I'm going to do now is going to use some factoring techniques. And the factoring technique I'd like to share with you today um, is going to call our diamond technique. So first thing, a trinomial, when we have it in our quadratic form, uh, what we have is our coefficient of x squared is a, the coefficient of our x squared is b, and our constant, which, or our number, is we're going to call c. Now, if I have it in quadratic form, I can factor the trinomial by multiplying my a times my c, and then putting the b on the bottom. So in this term, I'm going to have my a x squared plus bx plus c, as this is in quadratic form, obviously. So my a times c would be 9 times 1, which is 9 and my b is going to be 6. Now what I want to do to find these two areas, or these two you know, areas of my diamond, or this little box I guess I should say, what I'm going to do is I need to say what two numbers multiply to give me 9, so what factors multiply to give me 9, but add up to give me 6. And you can obviously see that your two answers are going to be 3 and 3. Now remember those two numbers have to multiply to give me my a times c. Well, since my c uh, is going to be 1, here I can just have them as my 2x's, so it would be my 3x and my 3x. So therefore, I can set that 3x times 3x. Because remember, these two numbers have to multiply to give me 9x squared. Well then, um, my last two numbers have to multiply to give me 1, So what I notice is I have 3m, uh, 3x plus 1 times 3x plus 1, which reduces down to 3x plus 1 squared. So the main important thing is just to use your, your diamond technique. Make sure if it's for my a times c, where my a is my larger number than c, I can multiply 3x times 3x. If I don't check this by fact or by formula, 3x times 3x gives me 9x squared. 1 times 1 is going to give me 1. And then when I FOIL out, my middle terms will also going to add up to uh, 6x, and I'll reduce it down to 3x plus 1 squared. All right, thank you.